Six days ago, President Museveni in a televised address cautioned Ugandans against taking part in what he termed as illegal demonstrations. This after a section of Ugandans ran a campaign on social media asking citizens to participate in the anti-corruption march to parliament that was scheduled to take place on Tuesday this week. Some elements, some of them from opposition, are always with, working with the foreigners to foment chaos in Uganda. Riots, illegal demonstrations, illegal and inconsiderate processions, etc. These people are unfair and inconsiderate and they should check themselves. We shall have no alternative but to check them. Despite Museveni's warning, several people, most of them youths, went on to demonstrate in the capital Kampala on Tuesday. They were protesting high corruption, especially in the parliament of Uganda, and demanded that the speaker Anita Among should resign. But security made up of combined forces of the army, police and the joint anti-terrorism unit suppressed the demonstrators and prevented them from accessing parliament. By the end of that day, at least 60 protesters had been arrested, arraigned in court and remanded at Luzira prison, where they will remain until the 30th of this month. President Museveni has spoken yet again on the issue of protest, but this time not to warn the protesters, but rather to congratulate the security forces and citizens for foiling or not participating in the demonstrations. The president says yes information that the anti-corruption demonstrations are a high-quality intelligence-led operation funded by foreign sources and that the evidence that will be produced in court will shock many. According to Museveni, these foreign sources are always meddling in the internal affairs of Africa for the last 600 years in terms of slave trade, colonialism, neocolonialism, genocide and economic exploitation. The president says some of the planners and participants of the anti-corruption demonstrations were planning very bad things against Ugandans and those very bad things will come out in court when those arrested are being tried. The head of state has warned that individuals who take part in the planning, financing and participating in the demonstrations should, and I quote, know that Uganda is not a neo-colony where those shallow schemes can be deployed. Museveni also revealed that he would have been the first to join the anti-corruption demonstration if it was a patriotic, peaceful and coordinated with the police. He has now tasked the State House Investors Protection Unit boss Kano Edith Nakalema to organize an anti-corruption work similar to that which she organized in 2019 once the ongoing repairs at Kololo ceremonial grounds are completed. Museveni has given his word that he will attend the event. In the meantime, Museveni maintains that the fight against corruption is in his hands and that he's leading what he calls a little war, saying, we fought the bigger war, we shall win this one also. The president is expected to address the nation next week about the state of corruption in the country. Daniel Kibet, NTV.